you how to create a digital signage or menu board using Elementor. This is my second video how to do this. The first one was in a portrait mode and this one is going to be landscape mode. So what we are going to accomplish today is this one. So how you can see we have some images, prices and a logo. This is how he have the menu now and uh, this is what we're going to do okay so let's start it all what we need to have is a website elementor installed on the wordpress so you can get all of that one by going to agileweb.com and go to tutorials and in here we have the hosting here the a place where i host my websites we also have wordpress and the elementor so also you can see how to install elementor pro step by step including the hosting elementor pro on this video i created how to create a digital signage or menu board in portrait mode if you haven't watched it please go ahead and check it out and uh, now we are going to work on the new demo. So in this video, I'm going to create the menu board for Philly Joe's Steaks here in Clearwater, Florida. So we do have installed uh, Elementor and, and uh, we're going to start from here. So first thing what we need to do is we need to go to Pages. And we need to create a new page. I'm going to name this page as a screen number two because I already have the screen number one. Under the template we need to choose a Elementor canvas and we hit publish, another publish. Then from here all what we need to do is click edit with Elementor. So all what we're going to see, it is a empty. So on here, uh, according to the screen that I built it, I decided to go four pictures on top and four in the in the bottom. So we're gonna hit the plus button and we're gonna choose four. In here now. I'm going to work only with the first one first. So let's make this one stretch and let's make it as a full width. We go to the Elementor, we choose image. Okay. So what do we need now? We need the uh, pricing. I decided to do the pricing under the, under the pictures. So what we're going to do, we're going to choose the inner section and we have one and two. So in my case, I'm going to do this way. So I'm going to choose the image for the first one, which I have it as a Philly cheese steak. So again, I have all images created already. And uh, the Philly cheese steak is, the, is this image. So I'm going to, how you see, cheese steak, I'm going to hit insert media, the image is created. Now, what I need is, I need to put the, the text and the price. So, I'm going to choose heading, and I'm here, it's going to be Philly, cheese steak. Okay, we're going to modify this one by going to style, by going to text color, I already have my text color, I'm going to paste here, and hit enter, okay, now we also need to choose the typography, 
how, how we can see that the text is uh, pretty big. So, okay, we have it in one line, and here it's, it's going to be the price. Before that, we need the second line for the combo, because you have two prices for one min white. So, duplicate, we're going to rename this one to combo. Now, on here, we have to choose the price. So, in order to be consistent, going to put this one here and just rename this combo to the price, which the price for the combo is $11.99. Okay, and for the regular price, it is $8.99. So I'm going to duplicate this one and just move it one step up and just change this one to $8.99. Okay, so we are just done with the first one. Uh, I, from my experience, I think that it's going to look better if I put a border on this one. So what I mean with border is by going to the style and we have border. In here, I'm going to choose the so solid border and uh, I'm going to choose the number. I believe this one should be good, number four. Now, we also have to choose the color for the border. I decided to go with the same color that I have the text. Okay. Okay. Here we are. The first item is already created. Now, in order to be consistent with the other ones, I'm going to delete those three first and recreate them. Now, right click here, duplicate, so we have two so far, we have three, and now I'm going to do the, the fourth one. So, on the villages, on the second item, I'm going to put multiple images. So, I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to look for image, and I'm going to choose that image carousel. In here, I'm going to choose the two images that I have already created, which is this one and this one. Insert to gallery. So we are going to slide to show we need one, arrows or dots, we don't need those, zero, and the image size need to be full. Okay, now we are going to rename the name from fill each stake to chicken cheese steak okay. chicken cheese steak the price is $8.49 and uh, $11.99 $11.49 sorry is the name for the, for the combo okay yeah we do have two pictures here now we're going to go to the third item. The third item it is the buffalo chicken. We're going to click on the picture. We're going to choose the buffalo chicken. The buffalo chicken sandwich. It is this item over here. I'm going to insert and we're going to change the name to buffalo chicken. The price for buffalo chicken is $8.99 and the combo is $11.99. In here, I don't like because it kind of shifted to a little bit higher. So I'm going to put this one down by going to Advance and adding some margin. I believe it should be good right here. The next item is the roast pork. Can do that by clicking to the picture, finding the right picture, and I think is the roast pork. Okay, the roast pork is this one. 
in here we are just going to change the name to hot roast pork then the price for the hot roast pork it is eight forty nine And the combo is eleven forty nine. Okay. After we finish with the first row, now I'm going to, to, to create the second one. So by clicking to the edit section, do right click and just do duplicate. So automatically it's going to duplicate for the second one. So we're gonna start with the next item which I have it is the Port Italiano. Clicking here, we need to choose the right item. This is Roast Port Italiano. And uh, find the Port Italiano. Roast Pork Italiano. Change the name. To the Pork Italiano. In this case, we have the same pig. I believe I have to shift the picture a little bit down. Another thing, what I don't like here, there is no space between uh, the two sections I'm gonna add okay so the next item it is the hot roast turkey in this case I have only one so I'm going to remove this one I have only one picture of that one and I'm going to duplicate and just put it on top Choose the right item. Hot roast turkey. The price is seven ninety nine. And it is ten ninety nine for the combo. The last item that I have is the Philly Tacos, which I'm going to choose the item. Philly Tacos it is right here. Looks good. Just needed to put a little bit down. Can be in a line. Perfect. I'm going to change the name. Philly tacos, $8.99 is $8.99 and for the combo is $11.99. And the last one I decided to put the logo. So go by choosing the Philly Joe's logo. I'm gonna remove this one, this one as well. Move the picture more down so it's gonna be kinda in the middle. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Now we're going to hit update. From here, I'm going to show you how to put this one in the TV, in the browser based smart TV. Because I had many questions on my previous video how to put this one on the TV. Okay, I will go back to my camera and I'll and uh, we'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm switching back to my camera from my phone. So how you see on my uh, Samsung TV, I have opened the apps. I'm going to find the browser.
which is right here and it says internet i'm clicking on that one now i'm gonna go and type the url which is gonna be philly stakes.com forward slash forward slash screen Hit done. It's gonna start loading. Here we go. The one that I just created. We can move this one to the corner so it won't bother us in the bottom. And now somebody asked me on the previous video how can we hide the bar, top bar. You can do that by going to menu, then go to settings, and then hide tabs and toolbar automatically. Hit use, that's all you need. Here we go. You can see that the chicken cheese steak, it is uh, changing the, the picture automatically. Okay, guys, thank you for watching.